Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video is all about starting seeds, cucumber seeds, directly. That means direct sowing. Instead of buying expensive transplants, they can be three, four dollars a plant. Just pick up a two dollar pack of seeds. If you can't find what you want at our seed shop, please check out Bentley Seeds. We are affiliated with them and they've been our friends for several years now. Cucumbers, zucchini, squash, melons, they all germinate really quickly. You can see I'm in the process of getting my warm weather crops in. Let's go over to this bed because I, this year I'm really actually focusing on starting from seed. It's the cheapest way to do it. The Bentley seed pack was $2. We're gonna plant up this area. I have cardboard down, grass clippings down. All we're gonna do is move some of the cardboard out of the way fix up the planting area with some compost maybe, some organic granular fertilizer. I will link videos to show you how to kind of set up and put your resources in the planting hole. All the rest of the bed, we're just gonna let the grass and mulch and leaves break down, feed the rest of the bed. We're gonna save money by putting our resources right there and by direct seeding. Again, a pack of seeds cost two bucks for the last three years. We're gonna put in one, two, three, four plants right here. Cucumbers need something to trellis up. I'll be talking about that towards the end of the video, but let's get to planting. Your cucumber seeds, once the night temperatures are in the 50s, 60s, the days are getting into the 70s and 80s, they're gonna germinate in five to seven days. No need to spend money on transplants. This year I'm really working on simplifying gardening for people, how to save money, how to just get the seeds planted, how to get growing. You know, let's not overlove our plants. This is a basic planting hole. Now this bed's about four years old, soil's pretty good, and I basically just put layers of leaves and grass, cardboard, let it decay, break down, it gets worked into the soil. Plenty of videos on that. So I will link a video in the video description I just did two weeks ago. If you're setting up a garden for the first time and I worked in a spot that was all red clay, shows you how to set up, again, the basic planting hole. Why do I keep stressing that? This is all your seeds need or your transplants really need to get started. You don't have to put all the great resources everywhere and build up perfect soil everywhere, just where the plant's gonna grow. So a couple of things, you know, eight inch hole, I don't know, eight, 10 inches wide, any organic granular fertilizer, doesn't matter if it says tomato fertilizer, pepper fertilizer, leafy green fertilizer, any fertilizer that's on sale, it's pretty much all the same stuff and it has N, P, and K represented. If you didn't have compost, I would just put in two or three tablespoons in there mix it into the bottom. If you have compost or you buy a bag of compost, instead of putting it everywhere, you can just put a couple handfuls right into the planting area. And this is stuff that I make, plenty of videos on leaf composting. It's the easiest way to really get started with compost, put leaves in a pen, it breaks down, it's beautiful stuff. You could do a combination of both of these things. You're just going to fill it back up and then you just wanna mix it through. You never wanna plant like directly on the organic granular fertilizer. So we're just really mixing this through. And then I would just bring in the rest of the dirt on top of that, a little more organic granular or a little more compost. Now, you can also, when your beds are pretty well set up, you can just scatter the compost along the planting area and just work it into the top four to six inches of the soil. So there's different ways you can do things based on how good your soil is or how well it's getting developed over time. I want to stress again, you don't have to have perfect soil to start. Just a nice planting area when you're doing direct seeding. And then if you didn't have the compost, you know, handful of organic granular, you can use both. Organic granular is a slow release, gonna feed the plant over time. When we're done, we're gonna water these in with a water-soluble fertilizer. I'll talk more about that at the end. But this is just the basic way. So I'll fill this up. And then over here, I would just get in and work all that in to the top four, maybe six inches of the soil, and then we'll get to planting. So I'm gonna do that down that way, fill in this hole, we'll get to the seeds. The market moor is one of my favorite cucumbers to grow. Perfect eight inch cucumber, 10 inches. So I took the weeds out. Just wanted to show you what I did with it. And then that's Rus Russian sage over there, great for attracting pollinators. And I just piled it onto the part of the garden that I'm not gonna be using. Let it break down, let it decay. Loosen up the soil like I told you. Any clumps of leaves or grass that are there, I'm just gonna throw 
right back over here. Let it break down. I will fold this cardboard back over here and I will cut out a hole around where the plants will be germinating. So in this space, it's four feet wide. I wouldn't put more than four cucumbers onto this trellis. I have a lot of different trellises. This is cattle panel. It's really handy. You do need a truck to get it home or somebody with a truck to help you get it home. But I use it in many different ways. Um, I'll be doing a video this week on trellising if you want to follow me. And I'll give you like, I don't know, a dozen, two dozen different ways that you can trellis your uh, vegetables and grow vertically. So in this space, I wouldn't grow more than four cucumber plants. And you can do it a couple of ways. We're going to go over to that side in a second. That's where the planting hole is. This is just where I loosened up the top of the soil. You could do one seed, one two, three, four, all the way across. If you want one plant, plant two seeds thin to the strongest. You could do two plants. So you could do like three seeds right there, three seeds right there, thin them down to the two strongest plants. And it's really up to you how you want to grow it. I always recommend growing one extra cucumber squash seed than you may want in case one doesn't germinate. You're not waiting around for a seed that's not going to germinate to germinate. These will germinate in really five to seven days with 50, 60 degree nights, upper 70, 80 degree days. The germination is really quick and a $2 pack of seeds will last you easily three years. So you're not spending three, four, five dollars a plant. Let's go over to the planting hole real quick. Let me actually give you a close up so that you can just see. Two seeds, you know, two seeds, and then two seeds right down there. Nothing fancy. In the planting hole, I have three seeds, one, two, three, spaced out. So when, you know, it's best to really cut the stem so you're not pulling up the roots of one plant and disturbing the roots of the other plant. You're just going to push this down about a half an inch deep, covered over and then we're going to water it in. When the days are getting into the 70s, you want to make sure you're keeping the top four inches of the soil moist. You don't have to do a deep watering, but maybe every other day, depending on how much rain you're getting, just to make sure there's moisture in here. Because when the seed first germinates, it doesn't have a lot of roots that go all over the place to pull in moisture, so you have to keep them obviously nice and moist. It's really that easy to direct. So cucumbers, squash, zucchini, melons, watermelon, cantaloupe, etc different kinds of squashes, winter squash, summer squash. Keep your materials over here. If, this, if the weeds that I pulled out had seed heads on there, I wouldn't drop them in here. But if you're just putting, you know, leafy green weeds, throw them in there, let them break down. Let the space take care of itself like nature intends. And then for the ones on the other side, again, half an inch deep, cover over. Half an inch deep, cover over. and we're going to have wonderful cucumbers. Another tip is your cucumber plants are going to get beat up and die out over time. So you can start some seeds next to the plants that are starting to die out. They will take over when you remove them or you can start some transplants. Transplants are fine if you're doing them on your own, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of information with respect to the seeds I just talked about, that they are so easy to direct sow. You don't have to go through the trouble of seed starting them or you don't have to pay extra money for the transplants because you just need a $2 pack of seeds. All right, let me think water-soluble fertilizer. The next thing we're gonna do is water this in with a water-soluble fertilizer. Two gallons of water, you can use fish emulsion. I'm affiliated with AgroThrive, that's an organic fertilizer. You can find them in my video description and you can find Bentley seeds there. Water-soluble means you mix it with water, the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are immediately ready to the plant. So when we water them in, the plants will have that available to them when they start growing. I'm going to show you how I do it completely because people get confused and sometimes give this little space a full two gallons. You don't need that much. So any water soluble and you're just going to soak in where you planted just something like that. That's all they need all the way down. If you want to subscribe and follow me, I'll show you how I take care of these plants, tend them, take care of pests, diseases, all that. That's all you need. Not even a gallon was used. You don't have to feed these plants every week. You don't have to overlove them. You don't have to spend extra money. This basic setup will get these plants off to a great start and it will sustain them. Maybe mid-season we give them a little more fertilizer. I'll be talking about that. It's really easy to direct sow cucumber seeds. 
I hope you give it a try. You'll be impressed and it's going to save you a ton of money and it's really easier than taking care of transplants. Sometimes you need transplants, sometimes you don't. Give direct sewing a try. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and layers of cardboard and leaves, grass, all that really break down and take care of your soil. Thanks for watching.